I don't even know why we're doing this. It's not a duet. Billy, you wrote a good song, not a great one. Did you guys want to record something or fight more? I'm fine either way. Riley, could you elaborate maybe on the details that, like what makes Daisy to you, I guess, or in the book, as you re-listened, what did you think like, oh, I have to do that or it's not her? I was trying to find my own version of her because it's funny, in the audiobook, I sort of got one version of her. And then in, when in the book book, I got another version. And then in the script, I got another version. So I was kind of like, you know, considering all of those things and all of those feelings I got when reading or listening to um, all the sort of versions of material. But I think ultimately, I was most interested in kind of what Sam said, which was finding my version of her that felt human and relatable and figuring out where she sort of starts and who she is in the beginning of the story as opposed to the end. I think the end is sort of the more iconic um, Daisy from the book that, you know, she sort of becomes in, in the later episodes. Um, and so I'm, I was just, uh, I was really trying to find who she was in the beginning and something that, um, somebody sent me a letter that Janis Joplin had written her family. I think Blake Mills or Tony sent it to me. And there was something so, um, it was filled with this sort of like childlike wonder um, still, even though she was, I think, I don't know, months away from dying and, and struggling in the way she was struggling. And that really uh, uh, impacted me and I, I wanted to bring that into her, this sort of, um, the way she looked at the world with beauty, um, despite all of the pain she felt. That's so cool. That's really cool. Thank you for sharing that. And could you both describe like the vocal training and process of like singing and any challenges you faced or favorite moments or songs as the six that you performed? The, the, I mean, it was, it, we, had, we had a long way to come. I, I think, I think neither of us already had any musical experience prior to this. I'd been in, done a bit of musical theater, but that, that actually was a hindrance because I, when I started singing on this uh, record, they were like, can you stop sounding like you're on Broadway? <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I had so much vibrato to every everything. And they were like, no, 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 no. You're a rock singer in the 70s. Um, anyway, but it, it, we had vocal coaches. We had um, like just the, the most incredible support network of, of musically talented and gifted uh, people around us. Um, uh, yeah, uh, so I, I don't think I could have done it without them, basically.